Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, demo uh, tutorial on how to utilize a free program in Windows called Windows Journal to do sketching and drawing effectively. Now, uh, Journal, um, which you can find by simply um, searching under Journal, is a note-taking app that comes free in Windows. It's basically, it's, it's a really basic cut-down version of the OneNote that comes in Office, which is a really powerful note-taking program. It's actually sort of a evolutionary, um, eventually, replacement for uh, Microsoft Word, in my opinion. But, you know, it's going to take time to do that. But, uh, so, because it's a note-taking program, uh, Journal has features like uh, handwriting recognition, oops, there you go. So as you can tell that uh, it did recognize my handwriting pretty nicely. Um, but, you know, it's, it, you're probably asking yourself, why would I want to sketch with that? Uh, because it's also a vector-based program, which means you can scale and distort the strokes without degradation to the strokes. It's pretty nice. Also, you can treat the strokes sort of individually as you can see that I'm erasing per stroke because it's vector. Obviously, if it's a, a, a pixel-based program like Photoshop or uh, Painter, you're going to have to be careful to uh, erase only the parts that you want. But because it's vector-based, you can treat each stroke as an individual object, which is pretty cool. But because it's a program for note-taking, it really doesn't have things like layers, um, which is to me one of the most important things uh, sketching or painting uh, applications should have. But there's a way around that, so let me show you that. Before we start though, uh, we're going to have to go into settings and change some stuff. So go into uh, tools and then option and then the first thing we want to change is go to the other pane uh, we want to disable handwriting recognition because after a certain amount of strokes it will really start to slow down the application and then you also want to disable the scratch out gesture because you don't want a stroke like this to uh, turn into undo or erase uh, which uh, I think is a default setting in Windows 7 so I'm going to apply that real quick Another thing you want to change probably is this college rule background, which is, you know, it's pretty interesting for notes, but annoying for what we want to do. So I'm going to go to note uh, format, uh, and then stationary, I'm going to change the default page setup. Uh, page size is letter, which is fine, but style, I want to change college rule to blank, and then apply that, say OK get out all the way and then I want to close out the note and then restart and all the setting changes should have uh, been implemented okay great now if, uh, if this imagine for a second this is paper and you don't have very translucent paper let's say it's a very opaque paper the way people uh, usually utilize um, overlay technique is to use something light stroke and then go over such as uh, let's say sky blue color pencil uh, and then you might want to ink over that with a darker color obviously um, horrible drawings here but you get the idea the problem with this is that you'll still see that light color underneath. It's not very clean. 
uh, if you had layers, obviously you can get rid of their layers underneath with the light color, but we don't have that in journal, so what do I do? Okay, the solution that I use is called group. Uh, okay, so let me just start the sketch. Uh, by the way, I'm holding camera with one hand and sketching with the other, so this will not be a pretty sketch. So bear with me. Okay, here we go. So let's say you are starting to do, uh, in this case, uh, car sketch. Oh, by the way, uh, you'll notice there's some strokes disappearing on you. I, I set uh, one of the buttons to undo, so to me it's really efficient way to uh, really maximize digital sketching. So uh, you might want to do that yourself. Okay, so back to this. So let's say uh, you're doing a really rough car sketch here. Okay. Again, it's going to not be the prettiest design or the sketch. At this point, uh, what I do is I go and use the select selection tool and select the entire thing and then I go into actions and then I group it. Now what that does is that uh, it will group the entire selection into one object which is pretty cool. At this point you can also change parameters of the entire group such as the color because it was originally black but I'm gonna go and changed it to, in this case, light gray. Oh, I better backtrack a little bit. By the way, what you want to make sure if you have a Wacom uh, enabled tablet PC or whatever is that you want to go into the settings of the pens and make sure that the pressure sensitivity is on. Okay? Alright, a little sidetrack there. Okay, so after you have done that, you can go back and start sort of refining the sketch over that with the darker color. Okay, this is going to be horrible, horrible demo. Let's not worry about the, the quality of the demo because I'm just trying to show you the technique anyway. So, like, okay, let's pretend this is what I wanted, which is not. Alright, let's, let's end it there before it gets any more embarrassing. Uh, so after you've sort of overlaid the previous drawing, what you can do at this point is simply go and take the selection tool again and find any bit of the gray and touch that and you'll select that previous selected group. You can simply move it out of the way and bam you have the refined sketch over the old sketch. Um, this is a really nice simple way to uh, get around the fact that you don't have layers. And surprisingly I, I actually use this free program way more to do concepts and ideations and even some fine, final line art than I actually use Sketchbook Pro or Painter or Photoshop. Uh, it's really nice and fluid program. I, I really enjoy it. So go ahead and try it. It comes free in your system. Uh, you might like it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, see you next time.